Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last part we got started on the glorious Thunder Plains, which I love. We didn't get very far, unfortunately, but in this part, after some sphere gridding, we should be doing a whole lot better. Because there were just some enemies that were stupidly taking, like, too many hits to kill. Oh, silencing Titus, I'm so sad. Tundara? You're really gonna make me wish I went back to get those, um... Went back to get those, like, uh, electric, that electric equipment. I might as well go ahead and use this. You kind of, as I say... I hope I mentioned this, like, at the beginning of the game, but you pretty much don't want to hold off on using Titus's overdrive. Pretty much because, um... Pretty much because of the fact that, um... Pretty much because of the fact that it will, like, only by using his overdrive can you unlock his, like, later overdrives is what, drives is what I'm trying to say in such a painful way. I don't know why that took so, took so long to get out of me. See, now Waka is just doing that extra little bit of damage. I'm still kind of annoyed about missing out on that strength, on, on those two strength upgrades, purely because of my own fear of using such a rare and valuable item as, uh, such a rare and valuable item as, um, as a level 1 key sphere, but well, I might go end up going back like and getting that, who knows. Place? Yeah, definitely. Very well. Let me tell you about the crossing. Time for me to kick back and listen. A long time ago, this place was a traveler's nightmare. Plains of lightning, plains of thunder. Those who cross are torn asunder. Or so they used to say. Then a man by the name of Bilgen appeared. Using Machina, he built towers that served as lightning rods across the plains. Finally, travelers were able to cross in safety. Relative safety. Bilgen was building that tower over there. When he was struck and killed by lightning. I guess that's the I guess that's the price he pays for going against Yevon's teachings and using Machina. You know, this is another example of okay, well when the Machina are really beneficial to our lives, we're not going to think twice about using them. So. Let's do it! Yeah, let's do it. We actually weren't ambushed this time, thankfully. We can really get to show off what we can do here. Get rid of this guy. Yeah, woo-ha! He's like Buster Rhymes or something. So now we can actually steal with Kamari, which can be very, very useful. Again, oh my god, that did so much damage. I really wasn't expecting that. Um, which can be very, very handy, especially since what we're planning on doing is getting as many, um, is getting as many of those Electro Marbles as possible. And since I gave him the use command, we're actually going to be able to use them as well, which is going to come in handy. Yeah, go on, attack Riku. That would have killed her, like, before we did the sphere leveling. So we got everyone in here, it's just time for Oren to take out, to take him out with that finishing blow of his. When we get like the um when we get like the other overdrives available, like you do get like you do unlock like other ways to to use characters overdrives. Then things will become a lot more simple. Oh my god, this bitch. I'd actually prefer to do a random battle and talk to you. Preemptive strike, thank you so much, Jesus. Okay, first things first. Get rid of this idiot here. Never has an overkill felt more satisfying. And you see now we're actually going to be able to steal from this guy at Riku, get an Electro Marble, and then just take out Kamari and go ahead and steal from this guy and hopefully get more Electro Marbles. And trust me, like they, they are going to be useful later on. They're useful anyway for... um. They're useful anyway for um, 
combining or for giving like giving equipment and, and for Riku's use command and things like that. But um, they, it is just a handy place to stockpile them at a point where they are going to be useful quite soon as well. So pretty sure everyone's got a turn in except Titus and Orin at this stage. No problem. Ugh, I'm just gonna take that. Yeah. Miss! Are you for real? I don't know why all these guys just need to, to need to get one out on have like Titus in their sights all of a sudden. It's like everyone just wants to take him out. For some reason, who knows? He just seems to go around sit looking for trouble. I yeah, sit back and watch while I take out this guy. Barely, jeez. <laughs> I'm on a roll! Yeah, you are, Waka. You're finally actually starting to take things out with relative ease. Getting some good sphere levels here, too, to be honest. Go and heal up here. Poor R Riku and Titus. Well, Shalinda, what garbage you have to spout today. Hi there. <laughs> Is it true? I heard that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. What you talking about, Shalinda? Great news! I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, really? Yeah, Shalinda, you shouldn't be getting your celebrity gossip from the Guado. I see. You'll have to be. That's um, unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira. Yeah, so what? Oh. Won't you go marry him if you love him so much? You just know that there, there's a very like well, a, a very like well thumbed edition of, um, what magazine am I trying to think of? Esquire under Shalinda's bed with like a special photographic interview with Seymour Quado. What is up with these ambushes all of a sudden and they all take out- they all go for Titus? Well, leave spoke too soon, I guess. We really are getting some good sphere levels. I- there, there's like- the reason why I keep like wandering over here to the side is that- They're going struck by lightning again. Oh well. Um, the reason I keep going over here to the- yeah, I knew it. I knew there was like somewhere with a chest over here. But the water ball! That's what I mean- that's what I mean waiting, looking for this whole time. Waka. The water ball with water strike. Am I gonna be- maybe I could like, customize this thing. See, I could give it sensor, lightning- this is what I'm talking about, with like the electro marbles you can give things. Lightning strike and things like that. Distill power, distill mana. Strength plus three with three power spheres. I mean, go for it. Why not? Just make make life easier for yourself. A strange stone. This is like that that stone with the cactar on it. That is like the root of, or that is like the root of like the side quest that you can do here, which I might show off go. later. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Just gonna go ahead and steal from this guy first. Now let's see how much he'll do with the water ball. Big difference. Way to go, Waka. Oh great! Learn the overdrive move Slayer. That's gonna be so handy. Brilliant. Riku's overdrive is active, so I could like just go ham on this guy, but I'm not going to bother. Riku, like when Riku's overdrive is actually something that you kind of want to save up and store, um, just because it not just because like some of her mixing capabilities are so potent that um, that you're going to want to actually save them for boss battles and things like that. So really, like her mix ability. Is something that it's kind of too it seems like when, when before you actually get into it and start knowing like what the different things do then and what the different like mixes and combinations do you might like be forgiven for not realizing how 
powerful it can actually be. I don't know, like, steal from this guy. It's like, if you have nothing better to do and you're just going to defend, you might as well steal and get interesting stuff, which, again, can be useful for, um... Can be useful for, um... Mixing and using. But, um, Titus actually got, like, a new overdrive, which is done. Slayer, which I'm actually going to change to that right now. We are getting, like, good levels here. It's, like, so, um... It's so satisfying. But yeah, Titus, if we go down here. Oh no, that's not set mode. So we have Stoic, which is like the standard warrior. Oh, I already got that. And Slayer, when you defeat an enemy. I'm actually going to keep it on Warrior, I think. Pretty much everyone else only has Comrade and Stoic. Unlocked. But actually, Warrior and Slayer, for me, are like the most useful ones, because... Like, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be damaging enemies and killing enemies. I'm actually going to switch it to Slayer for the time being. Just see how that works out. But I think, actually, Warrior will probably work out better for Titus. See, I actually dodged one. There is a side quest, for those of you who don't know, where you unlock um, specific things that are quite useful, to say the least, um, for and by dodging those lightning bolts, like 200 in a row. What is up with these ambushes? These ambushes are crazy. I don't think I've seen that many am so many ambushes in a row in my whole life. There is like one more enemy you can run into here, which I'd kind of like to show off, to be honest. Like one more new encounter, because we're actually coming to the end of this area, if I can see rightly up in the distance. I was just gonna say, like, what, what, <laughs> I was just gonna say, it looks like we didn't need that, like, lightning equipment after all. As I say, it looks like we're coming up, like, near the end of this area, though, sadly enough, but this might be it? No. Normally, like, when, when the guy I'm talking about, like, shows up, you're gonna see him in, like, you're gonna see, like, um, it's gonna be one of, like, these bigger battlefields. I just love this music. Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> Skull kid, is that you? <laughs> Riku, have you met a terrible <laughs> fate? You're giving me the creeps. <laughs> Poor Riku. This is so strange, this cutscene. <laughs> She's like something of Silent Hill hey, or something. Whoa, I wanna go home. I hate lightning. I hate thunder. Let's go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. <laughs> I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? <sighs> Come on, Oren. Even you don't have a heart of stone. Pretty please? Just a few minutes. I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. <laughs> Pretty please? They just don't even care. I'm too young to die. <laughs> Poor Riku. You're mean. Cruel. Your moms would be ashamed of you. Aww. Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine. We rest. She's worse than the storm. <laughs> Aww. Orin finally relents. We've got to love um, Riku's voice acting by Tara Strong as well. Other like who is like one of the most I'm prolific voice actors tired. out there. When you think about it, when you see all the different shows that she's been involved in for available? Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, ah, it's just crazy. Summoner. Yes, just over that way. Thank you. These travel agencies are just so uh, homey. Yuna? 
It's not like her. Yuno's that you you know. Yuna's been acting pretty weird ever since we came here. Or ever Are since we were at Guado Salam. Mm -hmm. Of course she's scared. When I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <laughs> but he missed and hit me instead! Oh no! It was a thunder spell! <laughs> Poor Riku. Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. Write that down, one down My for leisure viewers. Too. You should learn some spells too. She has her own. Sp she has her own sphere hmm. grid to work on first. Lulu, give her a chance. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Oh. Shh. Mm. Nice little interaction between like Riku and Rin there. How goes your study of our language? Because obviously she um. Yeah, it's okay. That is good to hear. Pretty sure I found everyone so far. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. Rin, you've been holding out on us. Um, as I said, like Riku. I wonder, would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Yeah, that's him. Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Sir Orin. I wonder if you remember me. These guys Ten know each ago, other? At the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. Hmm. I guess Orange just no ordinary man. Drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Orin's been acting pretty weird as well lately. Like we still don't know what made him like double up in pain back there at the um in Guado Salam. I've been scared of lightning ever since. Yeah, we get a trauma, whatever. Anyway. It's so hard to tell like how long you've been recording for in this place. Um, not in this place, in this game. Because, like, when I look down, I think... I think, like, my last stop to recording at, like, 46 minutes, and now I'm up to, like, an hour and 13 minutes. So I kind of, like, vaguely would say it's time to end the video, but I have, like, battles to cut out. But that's nothing... There's nothing wrong with that, and there's nothing wrong with videos that are at the... Lot, at the, like, normal 15 to 20 minute mark again, so... I'm gonna say thank you for watching this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy X with me, Rock, Paper, Mario, in the next part... Maybe we'll find out what e what's eaten Yuna. Maybe we'll just continue on with the Thunder Plains. Um, whatever that may be. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Bye.